New Haven has the ball. And then Aston says, get through if you can. Get up, get up. Goes Doge again for a quick scamper, gets out of one. He's been absolutely abusing the marker play. Every chance he gets, he's picking up 10, 15 yards right around the markers. They're going to have to tighten it up. This, this guy's single handle is going to be. Another infringement there sees Aston with the ball this time quickly out to Mulhall. And he's wrestling on the ground there. But Aston on the attack again and they get another penalty. And uh, we're starting to see a swing of momentum here, Pat. Without a doubt, Bulls have pushed the pressure on here. They're threatening. They're continuing to pick it up. You got to wonder if the Warriors are starting to pucker a little bit and get nervous. Cousy! Cuz! Right here. Aston, very, very close. I've been stroking you boys all game. I got to give you the other side sometimes, man. So Aston keeping the pressure on. Just a few meters away from the trial line. This time it's Meraki. Still on his feet. Hard time bringing him down, have they? Absolutely. All game long, it's taken at least two, three guys to get him down. John Moore trying to slip in there. Once again, this is New Haven's bread and butter. They are a solid defensive team. You're not going to get nothing easy. They're going to make you earn it. trying to get it out of their own end, out of the danger area. And it's their uh, player coach Doug who does so. It's off the tangle bar. Thomas Callan takes it up. They're 20 meters out already. Referee said it was a tad forward, that one. A tad or two feet, either one, but it was definitely forward. Uh, New Haven's a little bit of a mistake. Great defensive set down, pressed in their own zone. They come back into midfield. Unfortunate turnover. Just a little too aggressive there. So, Jaston with possession now. That's Mertz. Muscling his way ahead another uh, 10 meters after the uh, tackle's got a hold of him. Craig, who's got it, he's quickly fought the ground. Which way are they going to go? Go left. Long Grace has it to Mulhall. He's fought the ground. Oh, well, Aston uh, had a chance there, but they uh, coughed it up. A little bit of uh, over enthusiasm, perhaps. Absolutely. They can see the goal line up close, they're trying to get there. You can't make mistakes against this, this Warriors team. They're going to fly off this, hopefully they're not making mistakes, and they're trying to complete their set here. That was a good tackle there by Confer. Rooney who takes it up. More than halfway through. We're more than halfway through the half now, so it's... Uh, Getting down to the uh, do or die stages, Pat. This is about a doubt the nitty gritty time. There's going to have to be some big hits here, going to have to make some plays, hope for some advantage. Good kick here. Well, the kick 
kick went a bit deep, so we're going to have a quick tap restart here for Aston. back inside but kicked off there. pressure on the uh, bull side of it. They've got a lot of intensity. They're starting to break their line break up a little bit here on defense. They're not careful. Maybe they're going to take care of that. They're going nice and steady. They're staying short. They're keeping their shape. Bulls got to tighten up here. Well, the Warriors have uh, worked their way down into an attacking position. And Luke Carr goes for a drop goal. Uh, it's a little wayward there off to the left. What? Uh, so up the clock. Absolutely, not a bad thought though. They're up a few points, Bulls are getting a little tired, they're over aggressive. That's a great opportunity to take. He capitalizes on that, that's going to open this game up a whole bunch. So Aston with the uh, restart of Lewis is wrapped up. Yeah, referee's saying just keep your tackle down a little bit, please. That was a little bit high, a little bit dangerous. So Aston gets the penalty. And yeah, what are they going to do with it now, Pat? They're going to do something. Well, that's a great point made by one of the uh, New York players, Bobo, the way he's having it. Bulls are becoming predictable. They're going one set out straight up, they're not running the support, they're not trying to get the ball wide. They've got to do something new here. They're going to start to branch out a little bit. They're going to pack the new way to try to exploit the outside. Well, the play was on, so Ludi, uh, you see the thought patterns there, just couldn't quite execute it. Absolutely. That play right there, the misdirection, they've used that a lot this season. They've been able to score on it. Knew everybody got away with a little bit of a higher tackle there, but that's going to let them play on. It's been a fair game so far. This time it's uh, you have been getting the penalty. No, takes a quick tap, gets out of one, nearly gets out of two, and uh, boy, he's been doing that all afternoon, hasn't he? Once again, right up the middle. He sees something in there, and what we must be missing over here, because he's just exploiting the smallest hole right up the middle. He's had three tries for his effort, so that's, that's not bad, is it? He must be doing something right. He's trying to look to get number four here. Yeah, they're pressing again. This time it's Luke Carr. And it looks like he's got it. That makes the score now 36 points to 18 in favor of the Warriors. Man, oh man, the, uh, the Bulls have it all to do. It's nothing but uphill. It might even be straight up a wall at this point. The deficit's becoming so much. But the game's not over. There's still some time. Bulls can get a couple quick strikes. Anything's possible. You know, I wrote in my... Uh, preview piece during the week Pat, that uh, the Bulls have never lost three in a row, have never lost three grand finals in a row of course. Uh, could we see history being made today? Uh, absolutely, very good chance of that. Bulls have always bounced back every year, it's great to get to the dance but you've got to have somebody to get on the floor with and uh, obviously the Bulls have struggled the last three years. 
up north has got their number. And they're going to have to come back with a little something here in the second half. And if this doesn't work, they're going to have to retool in the offseason. Okay, well, the kick is uh, to come. Carl will attempt to convert his own score and extend the uh, Warriors' lead even further. You never want to say never. Well, we did talk about high percentage kicking, and that went out the window early. So you never want to say never. But this one's going to be tough here. Uh, it's going to be about as difficult for the Bulls to come back as it was for the Falcon to get on the field. So hopefully these guys are going to be able to step it up. And at the end of the game, we will be announcing the MVPs for both teams. Right now, the, uh, the Bulls are uh, making some no change substitutions there. As Matt Doe kicks it into touch. Nice touch finder there uh, just outside of the Aston 40 meter line, and that's where he will take the quick tap for the uh, start of this set of six. And you don't, you don't want to sort of speak too early, but boy, you know, New Haven's been playing very, very well all afternoon. Right from minute one, they've had control. They had two early mistakes and two early sets, but since then, minimal mistakes, solid defense. Bulls threatened four or five times inside there and couldn't capitalize on New Haven came to play today. Yeah, they did, but Aston's still laying in the big hits on D there, as we just saw. Comes out the car this time, and Robinson drops it. Who's going to get it? Dalton kicked their head right into the hands of... Uh, the Warriors player there, but referee says now we're going to bring it right back from where the initial spill took place. Yeah, Bulls going to get this ball back here. They need to do something now. They definitely need to do something now. Yeah, both teams making changes on the fly as they try and bring in fresh legs and try and give themselves, particularly Aston anyway, try and give themselves some sort of advantage, try and make something out of nothing. Yeah, it's time of getting away. Definitely going to need some. You see a lot of the guys starting to cramp up, a lot of the other change here. Fortunately, New England was happy to have a couple of major guys come back. I see him in the 16th, got about half his face taped back on, so that's a good sign right there. Uh, he's still working to play. Hopefully, they can finish it out strong. Shut down. So out it comes to Meraki. And he finds Norton. To return his dump in the tackle. Goes out to Grace to Lewis on the outside. Tries to get through the tackle. But it uh, looks like Luke Carr there was the man who was equal to the task. Big Ed Woodbridge taking it up on that tackle, and he was uh, brought to ground. Back. So one good thing about Woody is that every year he's been in the finals, and every year he's one of your hardest working guys. He'll give you everything he's got on defense, he'll give you a hard hit up. 11 years of doing it, and he hasn't lost a step at all. Referee's uh, sending somebody from Aston to the bin after a little fracas. So the Bulls are going to be a man down. That's how they're going to finish the game. Yeah, unfortunately. That, that's a bad penalty to take later. Anger, frustration, trying to get to the end of it. I think maybe the uh, ref could have sent them both out on that. Take the full game. There was a punch throw. 
So the kick does find touch in the end. About five minutes to go in the 2008 Grand Final. And the scoreline is New Haven 38, Aston 18. New Haven to put the ball into the scrum about 30 metres out from the try line. They're probably thinking one more try before we're done today. You can tell with the intensity New Haven definitely wants to get another one here. They don't just want to win this, they want to make this going away. And they are going to try to capitalise it. So for the Bulls to buckle up and uh, come out with some positive news here. Yeah, I think you've, you've got to congratulate both teams for having had such stellar seasons as we said earlier in the piece. And uh, they've put on a pretty good display today. Just New Haven's been that much better. Absolutely, uh, it's been a, been a long year. We should have been able to the ninth there, right as we say about it. Yeah, well, that's Matt Dogg. That's try number four for him today. And that pretty much seals the deal. He needed any convincing. Uh, New Haven now extended their lead to 42 points to 18. And the kick to come from right in front. So it's been, uh, dare I say, comprehensive, or should I say convincing? You could say both. Uh, they're making a statement here. Uh, came in maybe a little underachievers, little question marks about whether or not they could step up against the permanent powerhouse only being three years, and they have answered that question firmly. They are a team that's going to be reckoned with for years to come. Yet one more successful conversion to make it 44 points to 18. He's led by example, he's led by example all season long as a matter of fact. And he's had an outstanding game today, I mean four tries, that pretty much says it all, doesn't it? Steve, you come to the grand final, you're playing against one of the best teams in the league, one of the best teams since it started, and you put on this type of performance, you are a player to be recognized. So it's New Haven again working their way out of their own end. And that's Robinson gets through a couple, and he gets through another one. Does he have the pace to go all the way? He may well do as he shoots for the corner, and he does. That's try time for New Haven. And that certainly is an exclamation mark on this game. Tuck them in, brush their teeth, it's bedtime. This one's over. Nice individual effort there by Robinson. And, uh, boy, I'm losing track here. What's that now? 48 points to 18. Kick to come. Mind you, it's going to be a rather difficult shot from uh, right out to line right. 80% completion before the game started. you got to give him faith in it. Not too far to the right. I think he swings this one. 